Hello everybody, it is Nagman. I'm here with a brand new old 2011 LEGO Star Wars set review for you guys. Today we're taking a look at the Imperial Viewing set 7915. It comes with 139 pieces, includes two minifigures, and it was, or back in the day, it was 20 US dollars. So obviously as you can see it's a pretty cool set. Uh, we got two minifigures, both of which are exclusive. We have um, this viewing which uh, it's a, it has a, quite a few stickers. It's a really cool design. It's a very different from both the uh, 2005 version and both the 2014 version. It's its own unique design. We actually do see this vehicle for, I think, three seconds in the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith when uh, they're no longer red but in black. Um, we have two great minifigures, obviously. We have this Imperial Pilot, which looks like a Shadow Pilot, very exclusive and great minifigure comes armed with blaster has a great lego print and obviously if we do remove this really detailed helmet there is a face under it which looks just great um so that's that's the that's the pilot we don't really see this minifigure or we can ever see this count on seeing this minifigure ever again other than this set um next we have the astromech droid which is actually seen in a new hope back in the tent if four uh, when they occupy and uh, board the ship, you do see this Imperial droid. It looks amazing. If you guys uh, look at the scene when the... I think it is when the Rebel Troopers are actually uh, with their hands on their heads uh, walking back to the uh, Star Destroyer, you do see this droid in the background. So definitely a great minifigure that has not been released and that has not been re-released ever since. Um, so actually now looking back at the set there aren't many fun features um, it's a very simple set moving the figures aside the main function of the vehicle is this function where I'm gonna go like this and if I do go back so uh, the main function is landing mode which it just holds by itself on a clear pin right there and if you pull it up and go like this then the ship is um, in flight mode. Obviously these you can put them in any wacky way you want but there are if you want to look like the ship like the one in the movie just fold them up a bit like so and it should look good. There are some stickers Imperial stickers um, all over here. You may see a little bit of tape on top of them that's because I tried to re-put them correctly because uh, they were correctly but they were coming off due to humidity. Um, yeah so here on this top part fun feature we can do is actually we need to remove the head from the droid and we can put its head right there and it'll close that up and the droid is now um, helping the pilot pilot the ship we have this engine here at the back it has no fun feature or anything it's just personal looks um, the wings do the same fun feature there are no flick fire missiles in this set which is the big big advantage for those of you who hated that and it's also kind of odd because we don't really see a lot of sets without flick fire missiles these days Putting our pilot inside, very easy, just sit him in, he doesn't have any any controls or anything. Remember, this is old LEGO Star Wars, we're talking here. Um, detailed LEGO Star Wars started in 2011, so this was one of the last sets to be pretty limited. Um, has a really cool sticker, but actually that's kind of it. That's all there is to this set, it's a very simple set. This is typically the set that you go to the market and if you're lucky, um, and you ask your parents nicely if you're lucky they'll say yes if not then you'll probably get this set at you know a birthday party or something so this isn't like the we're not talking big lego star wars here we're talking cheap lego star wars set that um, made it into the market unfortunately this set doesn't have much to it but if you guys are a lego star wars collector like i am and love these old lego star wars sets then this is definitely a great set for you don't hold much of it as in fun features but actually um, but in, in looks wise and it's uh, vintage and availability wise it's pretty limited because it wasn't very long on the market it actually uh, stayed there for like barely a year and then it got um, out so that's all I can say about this set so guys thanks for watching this LEGO Star Wars review if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you guys have anything to say or a comment leave it down as feedback down below otherwise I will see you guys next time here for another LEGO Star Wars review very soon on the Memory Series channel. Bye-bye.